Hey ladies, I'm back with another YouTube video and today I'm actually going to be shopping around looking for a salon suite. So it was just about that time I really was sick of working from home and decided to go looking around. So the one I settled with had a bunch of different things in the area. The area was very nice, very calm and there was plenty of parking so I decided to stick with it. And as I was there I did record around so you guys could see the different suite options. These suites were ranging from $250 a week to about $450 a week. If I'm not mistaken, I believe $450 was the highest one, but like I said, I may be wrong. They did also have some, you know, salon chairs in the back. They said they were going to put a pedicure chair back there too, which I was shocked about because, you know, they don't be caring about this nail text for real. But here I'm showing y'all that I had to come home, pack everything up. It was super bittersweet just having everything out of my nail room at home into the actual suite. Now I was working out of the garage before and I just wasn't really telling y'all that cause I didn't want everybody to know that I was still working from home. So when I did my first salon like mini room tour, I didn't tell y'all where I was at. My dad did come and help with everything. I did need somebody to come and put up the nail desk cause I didn't know how to build it. But I did stay super late to put everything together. This day, it was probably like 12 a.m. when I was leaving because I was just setting up the wall, continuing to decorate the room, and just seeing what I wanted to do. I also met one of the braiders that night. She was real cool. We exchanged Instagrams, and this is how the room was looking so far. I did get literally all of this stuff off of Amazon. So if y'all like anything I have in my room, it will be linked down below. I'm going to link down below as many things as I can because I am an Amazon fanatic. So here I got this big old bin from Amazon too. It came in handy for all the little things. So I still have a lot of space in my dressers since this was able to take up a lot of the space of the smaller things. Right over here, we have another one of my nail dressers. Now, in this one, it's strictly just acrylic powder from the top to the bottom. I do still have a little bit of space, but I did not want to make the drawers too heavy because I had one before and it was breaking because it was too much weight. But I had a great time decorating. I was really just all by myself doing this. At this point, I really wasn't too sure what I was doing next, but then I decided to go ahead and add some of these little tiny posters. I did get some all pink ones, and I also got like some psychedelic trippy ones too. If anybody that's watching this video right now is a beginner nail tech, or you're thinking about doing nails, girl, go for it, because I honestly would have never thought like, and I know I'm probably gonna say this 30 times in this video, but I would have never thought, you know, I was gonna get this far. And I just appreciate you guys a lot for watching my videos. And it is hard at first, but that's with anything. You just take those first couple steps. You might stumble over a few rocks, but you keep pushing yourself. And I'm very happy that I did that. It was extremely exciting to just be by myself and focusing on my craft in a new space around other people. Cause working from home, I was just like, all right, well, I'm always, by myself and it's been three years. If anybody's been wondering, I've been working from home for the past three years. I've never worked anywhere else. So this is very new to me and I'm just excited to be around other workers. If you are a nail tech watching this YouTube video and you're wondering if you can make good money doing nails, if nails are actual career, it definitely is. I'm gonna have to give you guys like a updated journey. Like I just feel like going detail into detail with you guys so you would understand like all the different struggles I went through. Just feeling like people wasn't taking my business serious. Like there was many things that came with getting into the beauty industry and I don't regret it at all. Like I don't know what else I would be doing if I wasn't doing nails. And I am very grateful that you guys are all coming along with me in this journey. And just, you know, being here with me as I'm continuing to grow and I'm helping you guys grow as we're all learning. I was so scared up on this ladder, y'all. I was like, please do not let me fall because I'm the only person in the building right now. And I was actually the first person to sign a lease. At least I think I was because I think I was the first person to move in because you guys seen earlier when I first first seen the building there was nobody in the suites everything was still empty so they was able to give me a smooth tour and I was able to pick my room pretty much first.
everything happens for a reason this month the month of september everything was kind of moving a little slow for me and then i got sick and then out of nowhere i decided to just move into a suite so i really just feel like i was supposed to be here and the area is amazing y'all there's so many different food places over here like it's just the perfect spot so if you have any hustle hair lashes accountant i don't care what it is whatever you're doing just continue to push yourself i don't care if you're mowing lawns like just continue to do it because if i would have stopped doing nails like completely because i stopped a few times when i first was doing nails i was like look i can't do this but i always picked it back up even if it was a week or two even a month later i always went back to it and picked it back up and i'm really glad that i did and i'm just happy that i continue to push myself so if you're wondering if you should continue to go towards your goal of course because i'm just so blessed and grateful that i was able to do all of this and i was putting on my little stuff in these dresses and i was just so excited that my nail desk was pink i did get it off of amazon and the room was looking a little crazy right now, so I did later clean this up. So y'all, this is how we looking right now. Like I said, I did have to clean the floor up, but once I cleaned up the floor, it was beautiful. The LED lights were so cute. I didn't paint the room or nothing like that yet. I might do that towards the future, but this is how it was looking. I did add some black butterflies and I'm definitely gonna buy some more of these. Yeah, so I am finally finished with my suite. Everything is coming together pretty much perfectly. Like I said, it's it's finished. The only thing I really need to get is a curtain for that door because it's glass and I'm getting a little uncomfortable. But besides that, everything is literally in motion. I just got the little nail polish rack installed and I finally finished putting together my little pink chairs and I got a client today. So I really do hope that y'all enjoyed this YouTube video. I tried to go throughout the whole process from when I first was sweet shopping. I should have got the other sweets in there too because I had ran into a couple I actually really didn't like. One was ghetto. She forgot I was even coming. And then when I was walking past like the girls' room, like there was girls in there, of course, working. And when I looked, the makeup artist looking at me, she like, I'm like... That's all you have to say. Definitely was leaving. Keep in mind, like I said, she forgot I was even coming, so she had a client waiting for her. I was like, I can't do this one. This one was the third one that I ran into. The second one, I didn't like that. The ceilings didn't touch the walls. Like, it looked like they installed walls in there. And I was like, you could hear everything. Like, not with that. So I really wish I would have included that. That was probably the only thing I kind of left out by mistake. But besides that, I did try to capture everything from me putting the lights up to me actually viewing the place when I first, first got here. Even the area, I made sure to get that too. So I do hope that y'all enjoyed this video. I definitely have a lot of things in store. So I would love to know what you'd like to see. Some things that I've never done on this channel, preferably. I really didn't think I would get this far. And I often get a lot of questions regarding like, tips and if i have any advice and i do have youtube videos that's just going over nail advice what i think you should do first i definitely have many videos regarding that i do get that dm a lot so i am gonna go throughout the room one more time so i could just show you guys everything again like i said i did finally fully complete it besides like maybe adding like a futon some more paintings because i actually have a lot of space left so once i'm finished with that i'll probably do an updated nail tour not a nail tour I'll probably do an updated room tour whenever I do decide to paint because I actually really want to throw in like a full time because I will be sleep between these clients. And I'll probably add something else, maybe something for like some snacks or something because since my previous room was much smaller, I didn't have a lot of stuff to bring and I also didn't buy many new things. The only thing I bought that was new was really the desk because y'all know my last one was black and now we got a pink one. So I do know this video was real short. I did want to keep it short and cute while still including everything. The only thing that really took a long time was putting this wall together, but everybody loves my room. They're always walking past that glass door and telling me it look nice, but you know, we need a curtain. So y'all know I'm gonna show you the ugly part of everything too. Over here, I got some stuff in a basket that I still need to put up. I still have like my little pedicure set up, my ring light, I got a heater in the corner, and I also have this chair. So I do have to find somewhere for all this stuff to go. And this is the corner where I have a bunch of space. I already told you guys I wanted to go ahead and add a full time back here because it's just a empty wall and some space. So like I said, I am gonna get this stuff to move. It's literally right in front of this glass door I was talking about. So that's not cute. But here I did add some extra stuff. I was just being real creative because I did do everything by myself. I did just wanna go through everything with you guys one more time. Everything over here is really full. 
but I probably will buy another one of these black dresses and I just love how it looks. Let me show you guys the different colors with the LED lights because it looks so good. showing you guys everything i do have this curtain up here just because i wanted to show y'all how dark it gets with the blackout curtains and this look good i'm definitely gonna have it right in here for halloween but i do hope that you guys enjoyed this youtube video of course i definitely enjoyed making it and i deeply appreciate you guys for coming along with my journey so like i said feel free to comment anything down below that you'll be interested to see and i'm gonna see you in the next video